Welcome to our lecture online. For many years, they've been using oil drops between the glass plates that hold the specimen and the objective lens of a microscope. So what they do is they place a small little oil drop in between, completely pushing away the air in between, replacing it with oil. The question is, why do we do that? And we've done it for a long time. Well, there's actually two reasons. The first reason is to reduce the effect of refraction. So let's go to the example where we do not have an oil drop. Here we have the objective lens, we have the glass plate holding the specimen, and light, typically we try to shine light onto the specimen in order to illuminate it. The light then reflects off the specimen, but notice since the index of refraction of glass is about 1.5, and the index of refraction of air is 1, you can see that if the rays of light go straight across where the angle is zero degrees relative to the perpendicular, so even to the optical axis, then you can see that the light goes straight into the lens. But any light that shines at an angle will get refracted and the angle on the other side of the boundary between glass and air will be greater than the angle going into the boundary from glass to air. And you can see that, the, that these rays on the outside that tend to move, that tend to shine in this direction will simply not make it into the lens because they'll be refracted away from the lens. Less light entering the lens, meaning not as clear a view, not as, not as crisp, we will not have the kind of resolution looking for, it'll be more difficult to see to see the little details of the image that you're looking at. So in order to see a sharper image that has a higher resolution, you want as much of the light to go into the lens and you accomplish that by placing an oil drop in there, reducing the refraction because notice that the index of refraction of glass and the index of refraction of oil is relative the same. So you have very little change in direction of the light going from the glass to the oil to the lens. And that's one of the key reasons why oil drops are used. Here we have a little example of that. Here we have glass to air boundary. If the ray goes perpendicular to the boundary, there's no change in angle, there's no refraction. But Snell's law tells us that if there is an angle, there's the angle of incidence, there's the angle of refraction. Notice when you go from a high index of refraction to a low index of refraction, the angle of refraction is greater than the incident angle. We can then see that here using Snell's law, where n1 sine theta1 equals n2 sine theta2. If we then solve that equation for sine theta2, and then eventually for the angle itself, notice it's the inverse sine of n1 over n2 times the sine of theta1. Now in our case, n1 is smaller than n2. Something is wrong here. Oh, oh, there. Yeah, I realized I was lazy, I didn't put the one there. Now, let's, let me go back. So realizing now that N1 is larger than N2, so this fraction is greater than one, multiply times the sine of theta one, which means that if N1 is larger than two, then theta two will be larger than theta one. And that's the whole idea. Whenever you have the light that goes off from the specimen off at an angle, there'll be a larger a refractive angle, the light will bend away, and that's simply a result of Snell's law. So one of the reasons why we use oil drops is to reduce that effect so that more light will enter into the microscope and the images will be sharper and have a higher resolution. And that is how it's done.